Hello everyone and welcome back to another Shadows over Innistrad deck video. I'm going to be showing you my red and black vampire deck from um, Battle for Zendikar as well as Shadows over Innistrad, which is a legal standard deck. So we're going to take a look at our lands. First up, we have 13 mountains, we then have 8 swamps, and we have 2 smoldering marsh. They tap for either black or red, and they enter the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. Moving into our creatures, we have two Blood Mad Vampire for two and a red for a 4-1. Whenever um, it deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 counter on it. It also has a madness cost of one and a red, so if you discard something or discard this, you can pay it for its lowered madness cost. We have um, two Drana Liberator of Malakir for one and two black for a 2-3 with flying and for strike. And whenever she deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 counter on each attacking creature you control. We have two Falcon Wrath Gorger for one red for a 2-1. Each vampire creature card you own that isn't on the battlefield has madness, and the madness cost is equal to its mana cost. So this essentially, if you're discarding stuff on your opponent's turn... It essentially lets you get uh, your vampires for, for like a flash cost. We have three Arrow of Falcon Wrath for one and a black. It's a 2-1. Has the option to discard a card to transform it. Activate this ability only once per turn. And when you transform it, it becomes Heir to the Knight, which is a 3-2 with flying. Next up, we have four Insolent Neonates for one red for a 1-1 one -one with Menace. So it can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. It also has the ability to discard a card, sacrifice Insolent Neonate to draw a card. We have two Olivia's Bloodsworn for one and a black for a 2-1 with flying. It can't block, and it has the ability to pay red to give target vampire haste until the end of turn. We have two Olivia Mobilize for war for one, for one, one red, one black for a 3-3 with flying. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may discard a card. If you do put a 1-1 counter on that creature, it gains haste until the end of turn, and it becomes a vampire in addition to its other types. Um, all my creatures are vampires, so that part really doesn't matter. But it allows me to discard, which will then allow me to play stuff for madness. We also have two, two Ravenous Bloodseeker for 1 and a red for a 1-3. has the option to discard a card, and it gets plus 2, plus two minus 2 until the end of turn. And finally, in our creatures, we have two Sagriary Mage. One in a red for a 1-3 with Prowess. So whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you put a, um, it gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Into our enchantments, I have two Call of the Bloodline for one in a black. Has the option to pay one mana, discard a card, put a 1-1 one, one black Vampire Knight creature token with lifelink onto the battlefield. Activate this ability only once per turn. And we have three Stentia Masquerade. Two in a red, um, enchantment, attacking creatures you control have first strike. Whenever a vampire you control deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 counter on it. Has a madness cost of two in a red as well. And if you have multiple of these out, your vampires will get more 1-1 counters. So if you have two out, they get um, plus two, plus two. If you have three of them out, they get plus three, plus, plus three, plus three. Into our instance, I have two fiery tempers for one and two red. Uh, deals 3 damage to target creature or player. Has a madness cost of red. So if you discard it, you can just pay it for a single red. We have 2 inner struggle for 3 and a red. Target creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. A very good removal spell. I use this during the pre-release quite a bit. And we have 2 lightning axe. 1 red um, as an additional cost to cast lightning axe. Discard a card or pay 5 mana. It deals 5 damage to target creature. So if you... Um, discard a card, you can then cast that card with Madness to pull this off as well. And finally, into our sorceries, I have three Murderous Compulsion, one in a black, destroy target tapped creature, also has Madness cost of one in a black, so you can essentially do this on your opponent's turn as well. And we have two Tormenting Voice, one in a red, as an additional cost to cast Tormenting Voice, discard a card, again, you can pull Madness off of that, and then draw two cards. This is the deck I just put together. Um, I played a few games with it already, just uh, with a couple friends, and it's been a pretty fun deck so far. The vampires can get pretty strong in this deck. Um, it's going to do it for this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.